So hello and welcome back. In the last video we programmed a little function that calculates um, the solution to some problem on Project Euler. And now in this video I want to show you how to call functions uh, from C because I slowly want to make the transition from C. I already recorded um, this but there were some issues so I'm recording this video again so I already have the solution. And yeah. First of all, when we want to call a function from C, we need to um, declare the prototype of the function with the keyword extern. And then after uh, the regular function head, we can specify a custom calling convention if we don't want to, to use uh, the GCC um, calling convention. Um, so I decided to use the Microsoft calling convention here. So this attribute is um, GCC only, and if we use another compiler in the future, we need to change that. But after that, we can simply uh, use the function as any other regular um, function in C and pass arguments into there, and also um, get a result back and so on. But there are some changes that we need to do into uh, to our ASM. So first of all, um, in the Microsoft calling convention, we take the first argument in RCX. Uh, in in the regular GCC, um, it's um, RDI or EDI. And then we want to return our result in uh, RAX, which is here. And also we want to make sure that we don't alter any registers. So <clears throat> I'm backing up all the registers on the stack here that we alter and restore them later on. So the program uh, that is calling our function uh, doesn't uh, doesn't have any side effects from calling us from all, calling our ASM function. Then I made some changes basically um, where we did print out the result and so on. We just want to um, return here that uh, jumps back to the uh, that jumps back to the um, code here, and also we want to uh, pop back the old uh, base pointer stack base pointer, and of course we want to construct our base pointer first uh, or our stack frame first. For that, we just um, push the old base pointer that we restore later to the stack and then move our current stack pointer which points to the top of the stack um, to our current base pointer and make that our base pointer. So we know these here are um, local to us and also any other local variables we might create which we don't do here. And yeah, so much to that. That's already the changes we did here. I know that's really fast, but I think you can understand if you followed along uh, last time. Maybe you should take a look at your stack frames if you're unfamiliar with that, but I think most of you should at least have heard of it, I guess. So yeah, anyways, um, yeah, as you can see, our code is C, and also we did some, I did some changes to our make file, which... Doesn't exist. So what did I do? Ah, here it is. And um, basically, I altered our targets a little bit because, um, of course, we do have two um, .o files now, which is one for one the hello world that just needs to be assembled, and then our um, main um, o file which needs to be compiled, but GCC um, handles the compilation and linking for us, so we can just list it like this. Um, so we can just type main C and then the object file that we want to link, and then our output is the hello world.elf, and I think that's already it. Then, of course, we can... We can make clean and then we all only have our um, source files and we can make again and now we have the executable and we can see 
that it is working and has the correct result. And then one last thing I want to show you is with um, object dump, we can um, of course also take a look at the calling convention if you're if we are not sure where the arguments get passed because I had some issues with that in my first take of this video. Um, because the resources online um, are not always correct. <laughs> so yeah. So you really want to double check that. And if we scroll up here to our main function. Um, I think we scrolled past it. Where is it? Here it is, main. Then we can see here is the construction of the main um, stack frame. And then after that, we already see the preparation. So we reserve some bytes on the stack here. But after that, we already see some preparation for um, our call, which happens here to our sum func that we have written. And here is um, a thousand. This is the argument right here in as hex. And we push that into um, ECX. And then afterwards call our sum func. So as we can see here, um, we take the argument where we have had hard coded our one second, this needs to be changed. RCX. We take our argument that we had hard coded um, last time to a thousand right here, now from um, RCX, and push that into RAX, and yeah, continue with our computation from there. And yes, that's already it. As said, it's, it always makes sense to double check um, what happens here, because sometimes you um, you might expect that arguments get passed through RDI or maybe through a stack or whatever, but that's not really what happens. So it makes uh, sense to check the uh, disassembly to really make sure this uh, it really happens what you expect to happen. Yeah, and yeah, that should already be it for this video and from now on I think we will continue with um, writing more C code and thank you and see you next time.